Okay. So, hello everyone, and I hope you can understand my Kenyan accent. It's not as fast as the British, but <laughs> <laughs> I will try to keep my time. Um, I work with BSO Jitole in <coughs> Kenya. Um, we have an office in London, and um, so it's really interesting for me to see the flip side of life, different from where I live. But basically, um, let me just give you a brief background of how we work with the youth in Jitole. We have a program called ICS, International Citizen Service, and uh, we have we bring youth from the UK to work with youth in Kenya for three months at a time, and then after that it it, it goes on on a rolling process. So, um, how we selected the youth we worked with in um, these consultations was that we took youth that had gone through the ICS process because um, they are able to articulate their issues and ideas better, and so we felt that they were a group that was able to bring out youth issues uh, clearly. So um, in terms of diversity, we looked at youth with disability. They were included in the consultations. Uh, we had youth who were infected and affected by HIV and AIDS, and then from very disadvantaged backgrounds, as well as youth who were just like the normal Kenyan young person. So in terms of, of diversity, we had a broad range, which was good enough. Um, Maybe I'll just touch a little bit on some of the issues that came out. Number one was governance. It was really, really big. Uh, it is important to mention that um, for youth, if you have worked with youth, they don't necessarily address an issue as NGOs would, would call it. So for example, when we were doing the consultations, corruption came out clearly. So we had to find a way <laughs> to discuss and redirect them and show them that this falls under governance. So issues of corruption like um, access to basic services, health, education, getting jobs, things like that came out quite clearly. And in the as part of the process, if you do get a chance to look at the toolkit, it was really friendly. And luckily for us, Katie was helpful. Um, she came through for us and we had Skype discussions to take us through that. So basically, um, it went well. The, the corruption bit of it was, it came out quite strongly. So governance was voted in as the top. Um, another issue that came out was that of disability and the fact that in the current Millennium Development Goals, disability is very, very absent. This is what the youth in our part of the world felt. and. Um, so we, we, we put it down as one of the issues that was big because unlike in the developed world, in Kenya, as in many developing countries, access to services by disabled uh, persons with disabilities is really, really far back. Uh, simple things like taking a bus ride or going to work involve a plan that takes maybe a week because it's, it's not as um, developed as it is here. So it came out quite strongly. Um, in terms of challenges, I like that it has been mentioned already. Yes, the themes that were identified are good. However, it took quite some discussion to redirect the youth and help them understand that we are not doing away with the issues they raised altogether. Rather, we are linking them under the most, shall I say, um, matching or suitable thematic area under the UN themes that were identified. Um, in terms of uh, the experience for VSO Jitole and VSO, it was really good because part of our work in the program's team at Jitole is to ensure that the youth are included in decision making, in, um, um, in decision making, in implementation and discussions moving forward because as the report rightfully determined, the youth constitute like half of the world today. So it was really a great experience. Uh, currently, we are continuing to consult with different NGOs and civil society organizations within the country at national level. So for us, after the youth consultation process with Restless, this wasn't the end. We are working with UN Millennium Campaign at the moment. We are working with Organization for African Youth and different, different groups that continue to engage in the post-2015 um, discussions. So, yep, I don't know how many minutes I've taken. I hope I didn't take <laughs> too well. long. Thank you very much. All right.